Hey guys and welcome to the next episode of our Pokemon Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke. In the last episode we explored the city for a bit, got some new Pokemon for some trainers and today we're finally going to take on the gym after we... Well after I kinda let you uh, left you guys on a little cliffhanger last episode. So yeah if you're excited for a gym battle today be sure to press the like button down below. But before we do that let's have a quick party recap. Because I also did some grinding as you guys can see we're now all the way to level 20 with all of our months. So let's do a quick team recap. Up front we have Felix holding a magnet with the docile nature and Thundershock, Tail Whip, Tackle and Sand Attack. Up next is Garoon or Gabite with Dragon Rage, Take Down, Sand Attack, Rock Smash and holding the Shell Bell of course. And next up is Caesar, the powerful Infernip holding the Fist Plate so its Mach Punch is even stronger now with also Ember, Scratch and Taunt. Up next is our starter Cobalt and Bronze and holding the Quick Claw with Extra Sensory, Tackle, Hypnosis and Confuse Ray. Next up is Phantom the Gengar holding the King's Rock now, I gave it the King's Rock, I kinda looked through my back and saw this item and I thought, you know, the crown kinda fits my Gengar right here so it also has the moves Lick, Hypnosis, Nightshade and Confuse Ray, that's a new move it has gotten by the way, I got rid of a mean look for it. And I think last but not least, Skill the Venom of holding the Insect Plate now with Confusion, Leech Life, Poison Powder and Supersonic, so now with its special plate Leech Life is going to be even stronger. So it's uh, base power is now going to be 1 instead of 0, but anyway though, without further ado, let's go ahead and enter this gym. So yeah, now that we've done all the grinding, I think we're all good to take on Gardenia, so now I just have to find my way to Gardenia, which is going through this little clock puzzle right here, and there we are at Gardenia. I have uh, my Jolteon up front also stocked up on items off screen, so yeah, let's go ahead and do this. You kept me waiting. I am Eterna's gym leader Gardenia, the grass type master. When I, was, when I first saw you I was convinced you'd find your way to me. My hunch was right on the money, you have a winning aura about you. So anyway this will be fun, let's have our Pokemon battle. So here we go, our second gym battle in our randomizer now like against gym leader Leo apparently. Oh no weightlifter Leo, that's right in this game gym leaders are weightlifters which kinda makes sense because you lift weights in a gym. So maybe uh, this was all planned out I don't know but Mudkip my favorite starter ever is going to come out so let's go for Thundershock you're not a uh, Okay, he's going for bite. Please two shot this thing. Or just one shot it, that's also fine with me. So good job Felix. It was at level 20, so uh we're not over leveled. Rapidash is coming out next. Okay, um and also good thing I let off with Felix. But Rapidash, I guess Garoon, because we can uh, resist the uh fire type moves. So uh let's do that. We don't have a super effective move on you though. Which is kind of unfortunate, uh, but let's go for a Dragon Rage on you. See how much that does. Well, I know how much it will do. It will do 40, but... It's a two-shot, which is nice. And she just decides to sack off a Rapidash by going for Tail Whip, which is all fine by me. So take this second Dragon Rage to your face and just die Rapidash. Okay, so so far this uh, gym battle isn't too challenging. I really hope it didn't jinx it right here. Ooh, Tropius is coming out next. Well, against Tropius we can use... We could use Caesar, but Tropius is part flying type. I don't think it matters too much. I might be making a massive mistake right here, but I really hope... It's level 22 though. And it's also a grass type. Is this a trend or something? Because Rourke had a, a Rhyperior, which is a rock type, and this time the grass gym leader actually has a grass type in Tropius. Okay, Ember really doesn't do much. Let's go for another one. And she has the uh, Citrus Berry. Stomp doesn't do anything. So let's go for a couple of Embers right here. There's she Stomp again. And please don't use a healing item. Of course, she's gonna use one. Okay, one more should kill you right here. And nice, we managed to beat uh, Gardenia without too much troubles. I really uh, was afraid the Tropius would have a Gust or something, but luckily, uh, well maybe it had it, but it didn't go for it, which is nice. So Caesar is gonna grow a nice level, growing to level 21, once I learn Flame Wheel. Would have been uh, helpful against Tropius, but we managed to do it with only Ember, so... I guess we can get rid of... Well maybe Taunt will be useful uh, one day, so let's just get rid of Scratch. Why would we even use Scratch when we have Ember or uh, Mach Punch? So get rid of that and learn Flame Wheel. And yeah, that was it for Weightlifter Leo. Pretty easy. I mean, it was easier than Roark. I might have said it before, but you're really tough. Wasn't it hard for you to raise your Pokemon to be good? I guess that's a measure of how much you love your Pokemon. In recognition of that, I proudly grant you this. So there we go. We received the Forest Badge from Gardenia. So let's put that in our uh, 
what's it called, our uh, batch, batch case, I think it's called the batch case. And we also obtained a TM for, I don't know, Ember. Okay, that's a, uh, it's one of my favorite moves, really. That was also the move that defeated you, uh, ironically, but uh, yeah, anyway, the TM for Ember, really uh, bad to be honest. But yeah, now that we've defeated Gardenia, we can head back to the Pokemon Center and heal up, so yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm all healed up, and yeah, since this episode hasn't been going on for a uh, long time, we can just go ahead and do this, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, we have to uh, teach a monk cut actually, because I forgot we got that HM from Cynthia last episode. So now we have to enter the Galactic... I don't know what this building is called, something with Galactic, and yeah, defeat the uh, people in there so we can save the bike owner and get a free bike from him. So let's teach cut to... Huh. Don't really want to teach it to Garoon because Garoon already has an uh, HM move in Rock Smash. I don't really want to teach it to any of my mons, but let's just teach it to Skill because Skill has pretty bad moves. And I guess we get rid of Supersonic. I mean, it only has 55 accuracy, pretty bad. So Skill now is cut. I really hope we. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure I said it uh, last episode too, but the move the leader is in Kenleaf City. I'm pretty sure. So it will take a while for us to get rid of those HM moves. Uh, he had an item here maybe? Nope. Okay, but I do know there's an item uh, right over here, so let's grab this one. We do need to use Cut again, so let's do that. Skill Cut with your uh, wings, I guess? I mean, I don't know how you would cut that tree otherwise. Well, Bird Pokemon can use Wing Attack, which is kind of similar to Cut. I mean, Wing Attack, it seems like it would be able to just cut a tree, so... Maybe, uh, what you call it, Venomoth can do the same, I don't know. But here we are inside the uh, Galactic. I still don't know the name of this uh, building. Hello, it's me. Me. Haha. <laughs> I have startled you, yes? I am, after all, an officer of the International Police. It is only natural that I be a master of disguise. Uh, I don't think it's a smart thing to uh, remove your disguise when these people are still standing around, but who am I, right? I therefore think you will be okay, but I must warn you to be careful anyway. Also, a word of advice. This building, it has two stairs, one of them a trap it must be. But the crews of Team Galactic, they do not appear. How shall I say smart? There should be an easy way to tell the stairs apart. Uh, yeah, I, okay, and now he's uh, putting on his uh, disguise again, so... Uh, good job, Luker. Let's talk to you. As a group, Team Galactic has set its sights on the stars, not on this world. Okay, but yeah, that's kind of weird. Team Galactic is uh, talking about space, but in the end, they never really did much with space. Well, unless you uh, count Palkia as the space thing, because Palkia has the mass of space, but I was talking about literal space, like stars and planets and all that stuff. Team Galactic was never about that, even though he's talking about space and Galactic kinda makes you uh, uh, think of sp uh, sp uh, space like that, but apparently not. The path you chose leads to glory. So is this the trap or... Yeah, I don't know how to tell these uh, stairs apart. He's saying there's a trick to it, but I really don't see it. Let me know in the comments what it is, because I don't know. Uh, but I do want to battle all these trainers, so I think having you guys up front is fine. So let's battle these uh, goons right here. We are acquiring Pokemon for a most astonishing undertaking. Your meddling won't be tolerated. Okay, uh, I really don't care about you. I just kind of want to beat you so I can get a free bike. That's really the reason why I entered your building right here. Analyst Jessica and Analyst Mallory send out a Cubone and a freaking Dragonite. Alright then. Um, Felix needs to get out of here and let's send out, I guess, Cobalt. I really need to get rid of this thing. I really hope it doesn't have Dragon Rage, so let's just go for a Dragon Rage on this Dragonite. It has Dragon Rage. Okay, luckily he targets Cobalt. That's uh, fine with me. Let's go for the Extra Sensory on the Cubone and... No wait, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, I'm gonna take this opportunity to heal up Garoon because I don't want the Cubone to kill Garoon after I kill the Dragonite, so... Let's go for a Super Potion on Garoon and use Garoon's turn to kill the uh, Dragonite. Let's play it smart. Okay, so Dragonite is dead. Okay, luckily that's one uh, Dragon Rage uh, user uh, less, so that is great. Cubone goes for the Tail Whip, which is fine with me. Happiny wants to come out next. I used to have Happiny, it's now safely in its box. Let's go for Extra Sensory on you and go for the Rock Smash on the Happiny. Kinda wanna preserve my uh, Dragon Rages. Rock Smash is Oko, nice. 
The room grows to level 21 and Cobalt also grows to 21, so that is cool. And extra sensory is gonna kill the Cubo, nice. And the last one is going to be a Leyron, okay. Against the Leyron, let's just go for Confuse Ray and go for a Rock Smash. Okay, it didn't do too much even though it's 4 times super effective. Well, then again, it is Rock Smash and Leyron is pretty good as Spadef, I'm pretty sure. Okay, that, uh, whatchamacallit, that, uh, Metal Claw did a lot. But it's dead now, so that didn't really matter. And yeah, we gained some nice shell bar recovery. And that was it for Analyst Jessica and Analyst Mallory. So good luck just standing there and doing nothing. Let's go up these stairs. Okay, he doesn't see me for some reason. I don't know why. But let's also put, I guess, you up front. Hey, yeah, let's talk to you. Are you a trainer or not? Our objectives are incredible. Too incredible for me to understand. I'll fight blindly to the Phantom and your intrusion won't be forgiven. So you really don't even know what you're fighting for that... That uh, isn't really too smart, but uh, never mind that. The Battle of the Evolutions, I'm not gonna stay in though because yours is kinda better against mine. So let's send out. Let's send out Caesar. But yeah, today is. Uh, what day is it? Thursday at the time of this recording, not when this video goes up, but I actually had the. Uh, well, not really first day, but kinda introduction and explanation about the upcoming semesters for my. Uh, study which uh, was interesting uh, yeah not really uh, too ready yet to start school again but I'm uh, kind of still like my vacation but it's almost over I mean it has to start again sometime right so yeah next week next Monday I'm gonna start going to college again let's go for Ember and we miss are you kidding me come on Caesar nice and yeah that was it for this uh, dude right here so let's uh, uh, grab this item. Another silver powder. I'm pretty sure we already have a silver powder in our pockets. But uh, yeah, we now have two of them. So that is cool, I guess. Uh, let's go up these stairs, the correct ones. And battle some more trainers like this guy, for example. Do we need to heal up, by the way? I don't think so. So let's battle you now. Jimmy Lack is working hard to find new energy sources for the future. Really, you're not a trainer? You're just standing there talking about energy sources? I mean, you have to do what you like, right? And yeah, okay, our, let us make progress together. I think every uh, stair with a sign uh, near them is the correct one. I think that's the clue behind this uh, little, not really puzzle, this uh, building. It's not really a puzzle. And then the Scarlet sends out a Cricketune, okay, cool. With the best cry of the game, of course. But I already had a uh, question of the day about Pokemon Cry, so not gonna do one uh, about that again. Let's go for a uh, flame wheel. Going for the leech life that does nothing. It's four times resisted, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, fighting does resist, Buck, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. But we stay asleep, apparently. Apparently, Caesar uh, doesn't want to wake up. Finally, uh, it wakes up, though, and we kill the Cricketune. Felix goes to level 21, and that was it for this battle already. But yeah, uh, I'm thinking of a question of the day, but I really can't think of anything, which is... Uh, not really too nice. Let's put skill up front. And yeah, let's carry on. Let's uh, battle you now. We are conducting research on new forms of energy. Actually, uh, I have a question of today because we're now taking on Team Galactic. Which team is your favorite uh, villainous team? So for me, it would be... Um, I don't know, pretty uh, generic to say, but uh, definitely Team Rocket. I mean, they're pretty simple because almost every other team has some grand scheme with legendaries and all that stuff. But Team Rocket is just pretty simple. They're just uh, stealing Pokemon for profit. That's pretty much it. And they're pretty much the Mafia, which is pretty cool. So yeah, that is why uh, Team Rocket is my favorite uh, fitness team of all time. Let me know in the comments down below what's yours. Um, and yeah, we're now fighting a cast form apparently. Uh, let's go for Confusion now. I mentioned it numerous times in the past already, but skill really needs to get some better no uh, better moves. Uh, it does uh, gain some nice EXP though. Tangrove wants to come out next. I think we can just stay in. Let's go for a Poison Powder. Sleep Powder misses. And how much is Leech Life gonna do? I mean, it's super effective and we do have the Insect Plate. But it does nothing because Tangrove has just two uh, good uh, defense. Yeah, I forgot about it's a uh, really good defense. Let's switch out and let's go into... I guess Caesar. 
As 10 growth goes for the absorb, but that did nothing. So let's go for an ember because your defense is really good. So let's go for special move, kill you. Caesar grows to level 22, nice. Vida Bloom. Uh, I don't want to use someone else other than Caesar. So let's send out Cobalt. Cobalt is also pretty good against Vida Blooms. We resist one step, are immune to the other. So extra sensory should be able to two shot you right here, or just Oko you, which is uh, which is even better, of course. And that was it for yeah, analyst spy. Um, you can catch Pokemon anywhere. What's special about them? Uh, well, Pokemon are our friends, for example. So that is pretty special about them. And of course, they are magical animals that can breathe fire and emit electric rays and stuff. So that's also pretty special. Really don't uh, need to uh, tell you about Pokemon since you're living in the Pokemon universe and you can't even understand me because you're a bunch of pixels on the screen. So probably should stop talking to a fictional character, right guys? Well then again, I'm also talking to myself since I'm re not really talking to you guys. You guys are listening to me, but not talking directly to you guys. I mean, this is a video, a recording. I don't know where I'm going with this conversation, so I'm just stopping it right here. Let's use this Awakening though. Uh, use it on skill and use some more potions. Yeah, I stocked up on items, but we're already running low because I really had a little amount of cash. I think this is fine. Let's preserve our other potions and... Actually, let's take the incorrect path first and battle this uh, scientist, I think, first. I mean, he looks like a scientist. He has the white coat, has the glasses. I'm kind of stereotyping right here, but... Uh, no, he isn't a scientist. He's a rich boy, apparently. Rich boy Liliana and his uh, Milotic, which is uh, pretty scary. Let's go for poison powder. Okay, going for the X special. Uh, can you calm down, man? Let's send out Felix. Felix can uh, thunder shock you. Wow, he's uh, playing competitive, man. <laughs> Refresh. I mean, at least we two shot you. So let's go for one more. Kill the Milotic. So that is great. Skill grows to level 21. And that was it for uh, Rich Boy Liliana. So let's put Phantom up front. Kind of want to have everyone gain levels equally. So yeah. Uh, okay, items. Cool. One is a Wakan Berry, which I'm pretty sure reduces the power of electric type moves. And the Draco Plate. Okay, if... Um, what's it called? Gabite ever learns a uh, Dragon type move, we can give it to Draco Plate. So uh, that is pretty helpful. Uh, let's battle you now though. And I think... Uh, yeah, you are the last trainer because the next, flo uh, next floor... Okay, you aren't even a trainer, never mind then. The next floor is where we battle uh, Jupiter, I'm pretty sure. So... Yeah, let's do that. Um, anything on this sign? Working for World Peace, of course. Team Galactic, of course. Um, yeah, let's talk to you. What is it with this Team Galactic? Why did they take our Pokemon? What are they trying to accomplish? Oh, really? You don't want to... Oh, we just have to t uh, directly talk to Jupiter. But we find a Lava Cookie, so let's uh, have a quick little snack before we battle Jupiter. Myun, and what about you? P. Yep, uh... Same to you, man. Same to you. So let's uh, battle uh, Jupiter right here. Uh, did you want something? How oh, silly of me to even ask. You want to free the Pokemon. Fine. I, Jupiter, will deal with you. So here we go. Our second uh, battle against a Team Galactic admin. Uh, first against Mars. Now against Tamer Sonya. So Sonya sends out a Shift Tree. Okay. Uh, that's definitely something we can take on with Phantom. So let's use... Actually, I can use skill against you because uh, even though Leech Life is really, uh, really bad, we do have the advantage because it's four times super effective. So let's go for Leech Life. Two shots. Okay, uh, I take it. So let's go for one more and recover some nice HP. Nice. Next month is going to be Typhlosion. Okay, calm down, Jupiter. Why do you have so many strong months? Uh, I guess we just use Garoon right here to uh, resist the uh, fire type moves and go for a Dragon Rage. Go for the flame wheel, that did nothing. Dragon Rage is a two shot. Okay, not anymore, thanks to your stupid citrus berry, which is annoying. We do get burned, which is also annoying, but one Dragon Rage should knock you out. Go for the flame wheel again, you crit me. But I'm pretty sure we don't take burn damage anymore after the battle, right? I really hope we don't, because otherwise I'm gonna lose Garoon right here. Okay, we still have the Shell Bow. Uh, maybe we don't lose the Garoon, it only heals by one, but. We don't take burn damage, right? Okay. Phew, luckily. I was really scared I would lose Garoon right there. Because of a stupid 10% burn. Well, aren't you tough? It's okay though. Our official Pokemon statue investigation is finished. Mars has collected energy from the Valley Windworks. We're pretty much finished here. I'll let you in on one little thing. Our boss is researching the myths of ancient Pokemon. With the power of mythical Pokemon, he will become the ruler of Sinnoh. I suggest you keep out of Team Galactic's affair from now on. This is your last warning. 
Okay, Jupiter isn't uh, playing games apparently. I got my Clefairy back and it's all thanks to your weight. Only that Clefairy is yours. Who's Benary is that then? But that Team Galactic, they said Clefairy came from space, hand it over. Their logic baffles me still, it's like they are from space. Yeah, w I mean with those haircuts they kind of look like they're aliens. But yeah, anyway, that was it for uh, the Team Galactic building uh, whose name I still don't know, so... Yeah, I think this is a... Well, I'm not gonna end off the episode right now. I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center heal up and grab our bike after that, so I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. I healed up and yeah, let's grab our bike and after that end of the episode. I'm pretty sure we can already get it. Okay, Cynthia is approaching us. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, there you are. I was looking for you. I've got something nice. Oh yeah, she's gonna give us one, uh, an egg. I forgot about that. Oh, you have six Pokemon with you already. You don't have room for this egg. You have to store a Pokemon in the PC box at the Pokemon Center first. I'll give you this egg when you've made room for it. I'll be waiting right here. Okay, so let's do that real quick before we grab our bike. Uh, because I kind of want this egg and... I don't know, should I uh, put it in my party and see what hatches from it? Or should I just keep uh, the same months I have on me uh, in my party? I don't know. Um, let's put you uh, in the box for now and grab that egg. But yeah, I don't know what will be in that egg. That egg is randomized. I'm pretty sure I really hope it's randomized at least. Because, I mean, having a randomized mana is more fun than a guaranteed uh, Togepi. Even though Togekiss isn't bad. And yes, I want this egg, please, uh, Mrs. Champion or Miss Champion, I don't know if you're married or not. That's wonderful, the Pokemon inside the egg is happy too, I'm sure of it. Keep the egg with you in your party of Pokemon. A Pokemon will hatch from it while you are traveling. I would be happy to know that it will help you fill another page of your Pokedex. See you again. So there goes the Sinnoh League Champion, but we're not supposed to know that yet, so she's just a random lady for us right now. But anyway though, let's grab this bike right here. And what about you? What was Team Galactic trying to do with others peop other people's Pokemon? Yeah, I don't know man. Uh, thanks for rescuing me. This is something to show my thanks. It's the latest model bicycle. You must take it. I insist. So here we have the bicycle, which means we can now enter the cycling roads and uh, catch some more Pokemon down there. But we're gonna do that in the next episode. So yeah, right now I want to thank you guys for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, be sure to press the like button down below, subscribe if you're new, and also be sure to answer the comment question of the day, which is your favorite villainous team. And yeah, see you guys in the next one. Take care and goodbye.